A local hero who died saving the lives of two teens is being honored with a rare medal. A year ago, Rodney Buentello didn't hesitate to dive into the rushing waters of the, Matina, of the Medina River to save the girls. Eyewitness News reporter Karen Grace was at this morning's Coast Guard Golden Life Saving Medal Ceremony. Rodney's ashes are in here. Wearing her son's ashes around her neck, Yolanda Buenteo accepted a rare honor this morning on behalf of Rodney Lee Buenteo. His father, two sons, and widow were also by her side. It's been a year um, since it happened, and every ceremony never gets easier, but he's being honored. Ten-year-old Ryan proudly holds the Gold Life Saving Medal, one of the nation's oldest honors. He and his nine-year-old brother Roman witnessed their father's bravery. They were there when their dad dove into rushing waters. Because he saved two people. On the Medina River June 8, 2016, his father answered the screams of two teens, saving them from the river's strong undertow, but losing his life in the rescue. Buenteo was a retired Marine Master Sergeant who didn't lose his commitment to service when he took his uniform off. And for that, he was honored today. Uh, extreme and heroic daring is specifically listed as the criteria for this, this award. Created in 1874 only for individuals who rescue a person at the risk of his or her own life, the Coast Guard doesn't give out very many. Today is, is a day to recognize honor. It has been in its 143 year existence, only been given out 728 times. Today was the 728th medal. And even in death, Buenteo is still giving back. The Golf Club of Texas hosting a tournament to raise scholarship money for students of his alma mater, John Jay High School. It's an amazing blessing for us. You know, it, it, it's going to keep his memory and, you know, his action alive. Karen Grace, Kins 5, Eyewitness News.